Hello, it's Jay here and welcome to the second part of our dynamic weather tutorial series. And in this lesson we're going to work on setting out the first switch block, the first finite state machine in our script. Now you can put this anywhere in your script but I'm going to come here just below the void update and we need to use a new function the I enumerator and we need to give this a name so we'll call it weather SFM for finite state machine we'll open and close brackets we'll open and we'll close again now why do we use this function rather than a void well a void does not return a value and even though we are not returning a numeric value within the finite state machine we are returning a value of sorts i.e. which void to become active and we'll come in here so the first thing we'll say is while true we'll close brackets we'll open and close and we'll put this into comments and we'll say while the weather state machine is active we need to switch something so we'll call the switch function we'll open brackets and what we're switching is our weather states here so we'll use the naming convention we created in our last lesson this here we'll close brackets we'll open and we'll close again and again we'll put into the comments so we'll say switch the weather states and now we need to create a case block for each one of these voids so we'll do that here and we'll say case weather states that's this here dot and we want the first one which is pick weather and we'll close that off and then we'll call that function pick weather open close close the line off and then we just want to break and we'll close the line off again so please note we use different type of colon here but we refer back to using the ones I'm sure you're familiar with here and here it's the same one we use for normal lines so the case is this void we call this void same way as you would do in any other part of the script and then we just break and we come in here and we can just copy this five times so there's one two three four and five and I'm sure you've all guessed what we're going to do now we're going to paste in the names of all these other voids so we'll just work its way down so there's thunder there's mist and two more to go and the last one for snow and we'll paste there and we'll come here after this close brackets but before these other two now because we are not returning a numeric value this time we can just say yield return and it's going to be null and we'll close the line off and we'll save this script out and we'll just go over it a little bit so we've created a finite state machine for our weather states now when the script starts we'll call this function we'll do that in a later lesson and it will come 
to the first void to start with, the pick weather, we'll set it to do that. Now we'll have another switch block that will only call a function once. So it will pick out one of these voids and tell this switch block here to switch to whichever case that may be. Now in this switch block that will form inside peak weather it's only going to call it once. Once it switches to this one it will keep calling it again and again and we want that because when we pick weather we want to pick it once until our countdown timer reaches zero and we'll have a timer that will recycle and reset itself every so often telling us to switch the weather states but this one will keep calling it again and again and we want that because when we switch to one of these weathers we want the weather to keep working so this may make more sense as we complete the rest of this script and I will go over it again so please do not worry if you don't completely understand at the moment it will become more obvious as this script becomes more complete um, why do it this way well I thought it would be good to show you two different ways of creating switch blocks and which are basically finite state machines so I hope you in, will enjoy learning both of these ways and enjoy this series as a whole um, until next time which is when we will be creating our second switch block please all of you have a great day and I will see you next time